I'm with um, Genova Chen, mm -hmm. creative director and president of that game company. We were talking before we, before we started filming about um, the event that I put on in Exeter Cathedral a couple, a couple of times actually, mm -hmm. where we used flower um, and journey as an integral part of a Christian act of worship. Um, mm -hmm. How is it seeing one of the games you've created being used in unusual scenarios like that? Uh, interestingly, like when I analyzed the games and business, I started to realize that uh, our company is actually in a business of um, social service. Um, what do I mean by that? Mm. So if you look at Journey, for example, uh, what does Journey is essentially provide? It provides a situation where you can trust someone which you, which you, don't, you know very little about. Um, and it's a it's experience that's very rare in the gamer's novel life today because most of the games are about competitions. And it's also a rare situation for our real life. You know, you can go to your bar, but how, who, who are you going to trust, right? Mm -hmm. You can run into people on the street, are you going to trust them? And, and even people you know for a long time, it's not very easy for you to trust somebody. But I start to realize uh, when people go to a church service, it is exactly a location where you don't know much about these people, but because of the same belief, or the same fate, mm -hmm. um, you trust them and they trust you. And that feeling to be home and to not worry and to feel connected is an emotion that is uh, kind of rare in today's inter entertainment landscape. And I think um, when I see the church going experience that, when I think about journey, that makes sense. That mm -hmm. they're, they're about the same thing. Mm -hmm. So.